hi guys welcome to my channel Mwendi here if you're new here thank you for subscribing if you're returning subscriber thank you for watching uh so today's video is a mini review of uh some samples that i've been trying out i've given all of these a full wear so i'm going to give you my first impressions of uh, what i felt when i wore this for an entire day and my opinions on them so i'll be doing this on uh, some mondays not every monday but some mondays so whatever maybe impresses me leaves an impression on me is what i'll be talking about maybe they they might be loves or they might be fails um there are a few others that i just won't be uh, including in here i just had a lot of fragrances but some of them are just meh like they're just not really worth talking about so i've decided to start this monday mini reviews uh, type of thing to talk about the ones that i actually love or find a bit off-putting so if you like to hear about what i've tested it tested out and my opinions on them please keep watching so my first uh, perfume in this mini review of five fragrances is uh, Radical uh, Lotus. This is a, a sample from, I got this sample with my grandfather. So Radical uh, Lotus is by a brand called uh, Laurent Mazzone. Uh, I don't know how they pronounce it exactly, but I think this is an Italian niche house. Uh, when they say Mazone, they really emphasize on the Mazone, the ne part. So if you know how that is pronounced, you can. Uh, but I tried to Google it. That's what I got. Laurent Mazone. Yeah. So Lotus, uh, Radical Lotus is a very floral uh, perfume. It's uh, predominantly floral with some fruitiness to it, which makes it a bit sweet. This perfume uh, is in the same line or gives that vibe. It's, it's in no way a similar perfume. It's a perfume on its own. Actually, I've never smelled anything that smells quite like this one. But it's, it gives off those vibes, the Delina type of uh, fr uh, florals, like florals with something else to it. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you the notes. Uh, the top notes of this are saffron, guava, and freesia. So you know, saffron is mostly used in most of these very woody uh, perfumes, say woods and other very woody perfumes. But here in this particular fragrance, they're adding in the saffron with the other florals. So the middle notes are rose, lotus, and Indian jasmine. Then the, in the base, we have black amber, patchouli, and vanilla so to my nose this is a bit fruity i'm putting it on my skin because oh guys this is a very expensive perfume so whatever it is i need to smell it so this is a very floral uh slightly fruity and sweet perfume very, but very uh, predominantly floral the heart of it all is just uh, florals so you get this very nice even someone who doesn't really like florals, like you know how Delina is genuinely uh, loved by almost everyone and is considered signature worthy. This is also one that I would say is signature worthy before because I consider this one something you can wear all, all year round. So this is a, a female perfume, but the bottle doesn't really... I, let me check, is it for men and women? I, but what I remember is it's just for women. So this is a very it's a fragrance for women but if as you can see from the bottle it's not very the most feminine of bottles but it's a very expensive niche perfume with high quality you can smell from the ingredients that are in this uh, fragrance that uh, the ingredients they are high quality ingredients it doesn't smell cheap in no way it smells very expensive and sophisticated on my skin i get nothing less than six hours and even when you put it on your on your skin you can even see the oil like it just reflects i hope you'll be able to see it in the camera so this one if i had the money it is something that i'll consider buying but since i'm broke here we are if you're one of my subscribers who's able to buy this you love delina you like florals with some slight sweetness to it then consider getting this one Okay, so we move on to the next fragrance and this one really really left an impression on me the very first time i tried to wear it the first time i tested it out i sprayed it on myself and then i started thinking what is it that this reminds me of 
it kept bugging me until something just clicked and it was it reminded me of one of my favorite fragrances right now so the, the fragrance that i'm talking about is lavender's trianon this is by Maison Lancome, the Lancome private line. I'm going to insert the, uh, a picture of the, the bottle. So Lavender's Trianon is a discontinued fragrance, uh, but it left such an impression on me I just had to talk about. So this is a very milky um, floral uh, perfume. I've never, the lactonic accord is so strong. The minute you put it to your um your nose or the minute you spray it you get this very lactonic uh, milky thing going on in the amber so there's um some florals obviously the lavender the lavender is the the part the floral part the name i think uh, already says it so it's got a lot of lavender and some milky uh, thing going on in amber so the very first time I sprayed this and I kept thinking I have this perfume but I, we all know that I don't have Lavender Trianon it's like a very expensive discontinued fragrance but I kept thinking about the fact that it reminds me of something that I have. So this one was reminding me of Golden Decade. When you go on Fragrantica it's um, Golden Decade was not listed. I'm, I'm the first one who actually added this as it reminds me of because this reminds me of a Lib Intense and Golden Decade. Like Lib Intense and Golden Decade but with some milkiness to them. So I get Lib or Golden Decade and add some milk in there then you get Lavender Strianon. Like it's, it's, it's so amazing. So the notes of this perfume um, yeah, we, I think, did I even write the notes? Yes. So we have milk, vanilla, sugar, and uh, Madagascar vanilla and lavender. So it's predominantly just milk, a lot of vanilla, some sugar, and lavender. And we all know the, the, the other perfumes that I've talked about are predominantly vanilla, lavender, and then the, in this case we add in some milk, which makes it very nice. It's... I'm not the biggest fan of lactonic um, uh, notes, but in this particular one, I think I can tolerate them. I actually like the, the lactonic twist to this perfume. So on my skin, it lasts not less than seven hours. You know, this is the, uh, the, the Lancome private line with performance. They didn't, um, they went all out. So this is a fragrance that I can wear all year round. If you have it, if you don't have it, if you don't have it, just get your golden decade or leave intense. Then uh, layer with something very lactonic and you'll get the same effect. But if you can buy it and the bottle is beautiful, please get it. It's worth having, especially if you like lavender and you like vanilla and don't mind lactonic accords. So that's what I'm going to say about this for now. So we move on to another Maison Lancome uh, fragrance. This is uh, Oud Bouquet, the famous Oud Bouquet. I think everyone has heard everything about Oud Bouquet, but if you do not know Oud Bouquet, it's very this. Um, it's a fragrance that um, people consider a dupe of Shagaf Oud, which is also very popular. So Oud Bouquet is. Uh, we all know that Shagaf Oud is a sweet woody uh, fragrance. With some saffron so this one is very similar to my nose the first the very first time i i smelled this i couldn't tell the difference at all in my opinion they are like 98 percent similar except shagaf wood is a bit sweeter than this one is so it's sweet wood i think this also has tonka bean and vanilla which make make it very sweet and then it also has some saffron so the notes of this one we have it oh it also has rose so the notes of this one are agar wood which is wood wood sometimes is um called agar wood or akigala wood so there are different types of wood so if you see me just saying wood and then in the notes it's saying akigala wood or agar wood just know it's still wood so we have oud, we have praline, we have vanilla and rose and saffron. Actually, this one doesn't have tonka bean, it has praline instead. Then uh, basically those are the notes. And to me, I just get a very sweet um, oud with some very woody and light rose. 
so basically that's what i have to say on this one the performance is uh, perfect above eight hours on skin um you can wait all year round if you want um uh, i would say i prefer wearing wearing it in the evening and in winter so that's all i have to say for about this one we've heard enough about it so oud bouquet by mason lancome so we go on to another fragrance that i wish i could own but i'm just a bit broke for it so the one i'm talking about is vanille fetal by uh, tom ford the minute i sprayed this i wanted it and i've worn it i've worn it but it's still in there i'm trying to keep it for my special occasion so um this is just from the name this is a very sweet um perfume with okay so this this to me is like a bad girl bad boy type of uh, fragrance uh it's sweet it's got so many notes in it so many but to me it's got this darkness to it um this sort of uh tobacco thing going on and the sweetness is definitely there i should be from the vanilla this is something that i would wear in the evening um in winter this this really suits to be like all dressed up black i love black it's my favorite color so whenever i'm thinking of something bad boy bad girl or all dressed up i'm thinking of black as the color of choice so don't mind me uh let me tell you the notes so this one has rum rum it makes sense that there's rum because this this thing has this uh, a slight booziness to it and some tobacco ish thing going on in addition to the sweetness it has mare it has olive denim it has saffron coriander uh, orange lime in the middle it has bailey coffee frangipani plum narcissus artemisia rose then in the base it has madagascar vi van vanilla suede tobacco exactly like tobacco just gives off that smoky bad boy bad girl type of thing then it also has mahogany patchouli oak moss and violet so to me what i wrote when i, I said some sweet spicy woody and some tobacco in the background yeah so this is what i get and it's one that i would buy if i could afford it so yeah uh you get six hours plus of performance from this perfume and i'm glad i sampled it i wish i could add it to my want list but it would just make my want list very long so if you are able to afford a tom ford vanille fetal it's worth the hype go buy it okay so i currently don't own any chanel but i actually like um the chance line so i recently sampled uh Ch chanel chance or tandra the edp so there's an edt and, and there's the edp so edp is the one with the solid lid the edp is the one that that um, which has a lid that's a bit transparent i'll leave a picture for you guys so i recently sampled this one and i liked it um if i had to find it on a deal for a good price like i would buy it because i find this very likable there's there's no one i can imagine not loving this type of scent it's something for a corporate person or even just any work environment people are just going to find you uh, very pleasant to smell so this is slightly sweet not very sweet like slightly sweet fruity um and floral to my nose it's light and fresh but on my skin i got at least five hours of performance which is very good for a fresh perfume if we're if we're being honest or for a floral perfume if we're being honest although some other florals are very strong but for a fresh type of perfume that gives you that freshness yeah this five hours is quite impressive to me so uh this one has top notes of queens grapefruits oh yeah the grapefruits i think is what's giving it that type of freshness like the zestiness just in the top then in the middle we have rose jasmine in the base we have white mask so as i mentioned it it's just a very nice summery or all year round type of scent you can easily make this a signature scent and that's all i have to say about this one so if you want that type of scent that is inoffensive try chance um or tundra the edp 